That three is off the mark. There's Petty. Right on cue. That three is good. And how quick did they get that ball? And they, this one should be fun. These two teams are one and two at the top of the league. A little bit of a heavyweight bout, if you will, in Baton Rouge tonight. And there's Petty with his second. But Will Wade, he's just going to pull you down low, find his way into the paint, put it off the glass. It was a great week for both of these teams. Alabama lengthened its win streak to seven in a row. LSU has won four in a row. And Judd Petty has nailed three triples in a row. How early in this one? Now, if you thought he couldn't top the performance from Saturday when he broke the program's all-time three-point record, he's trying to one-up himself. Here is another. Got it again! Oh, and his confidence has just skyrocketed in his shot selection under NATO. Five for five. This is certainly capable of that, but they got to figure out, hey, let our defense lead the offense because if we try to get a shootout with Alabama, we're going to lose. His fifth three. She brings it up in transition like a point guard for a layup. Javon Quinterly, fresh into the game, knocks it down. And there's just momentum right now that that second statistic sheds some light on. Quinterly, a deep three, and he drains it. It's now the ninth. Herb Jones finds Quinterly, one bounce. And Quinterly sticks it. She was good enough to close the gap. LSU shooting 48% from the field. Just can't keep up with the barrage. And Petty's. Games can't answer. Petty, corner. That's good. Primo in the corner. That's good. Shackleford breaking down Watford. Quinterly. Now it's a primo. Lines it up. Back to back threes. Gaines had that one pinned off the backboard. Here comes the freight train again. Quinterly switching to the left. He's a high percentage. Shoots at a high percentage clip. Converts his first basket. In the corner. Booking. Primo. It's over. Here he is on the break. Teddy hesitated. No problem. I love it. They have more set plays on the offense. If they start playing at the same pace as Alabama, something that's already ugly is going to get uglier. Shackleford with the handles. Primo wide open. He'd be right behind them. Tennessee just lost its second conference game earlier today. This would be LSU second, and Alabama would have a win over both of those programs. For the senior from Huntsville, unequivocally played the best basketball of his career. And I think it's been baby steps for him, really. I mean, one of the biggest things I've seen is just he's got a better handle with the ball. For three straight years, he had a negative assist to a turnover ratio, and Rick Barnes was not happy. So Al uh, LSU is not alone in the uh, look-in-the-mirror teams tomorrow morning. And goodness gracious, they're going to have to. I'm not sure you don't burn the His eight-game win streak will be the longest in 18 years. 105 and an SEC record 23 made triples.